Top Gear Season 32 is soon to land on viewers' screens, and a brand new trailer has teased a mysterious fourth driver and gives fans a look into Patty McGuinness, Freddie Flintoff, and Chris Harris' journey to Florida where they tear up some U.S. tracks. While pulling out an array of questionable items, Patty assures the airport worker that it is not what she thinks as she rummages through their belongings. The short video clip shows the racing trio struggling to get through customs and airport security on their way back from Florida. As the stern-looking airport attendant goes through their filthy items, each artifact sends the onlooker into a flashback of their wild time. Patty and Freddy joined Chris for season 27 back in 2019, and since then, the adrenaline junkies have tried to outperform each other at every opportunity they get. As well as grabbing a quick glimpse into their time in Florida, fans also see Freddy Bob slaying in a Sinclair C5 and the lads putting their Dream TV cop cars through their paces. Don't know if that's true. Mike Tendall rubbishes Jubilee plan claims on GMB as well as climbing aboard some of the most iconic police vehicles ever seen on screen, the team buggy races in alligator-infested waters and hits the road in a 35-foot-long holiday Rambler Aluma Light RV. All three presenters enter the unique swamp buggy racing event in Naples, Florida. It sees a field of home-built aquatic buggies splashing around a circuit cut through an alligator-infested swamp. The presenters also go head-to-head -head on Miami's quarter-mile drag strip in America's newest official motorsport, Donk Racing. This race sees classic American muscle cars modified to produce up to 2,000 brake horsepower BHP. Freddie is inspired by the genius of Sir Clive Sinclair, R.I.P., and turns a Sinclair C5 into a bobsleigh, christened the Ski 5 and attempts to hit 60 miles per hour down Norway's Lillehammer's Olympic Luge track. The final event of Team Trop Gear's Florida Motorsport Adventure is Dirty 30. The driving hosts line up in a grid of heavily modified Ford Crown Victoria police cars, all equipped with power-boosting nitrous oxide and let loose. YouTuber DJM commented on the trailer, saying, This trio is actually rather good and they have great chemistry over time, it was always going to take some time and would never be perfect straight away. Yes it's not the old trio, but people seriously need to move on. Besides we got two car shows out of it, and if the original trio didn't leave Top Gear we wouldn't have got their amazing solo Amazon shows and I doubt Jeremy would have done his ITV stuff. Don't miss, BBC has loved it re smog hits back at Naga Munchetti, branding Partygate non-story latest The Last Kingdom film. Eliza Butterworth won't return as Aylesworth We Tried Everything, latest She Absolutely Goes Mad Mike Tindall in candid admission about daughter Mia, latest, I'm also very grateful to be introduced to Chris Harris, his passion for cars is just infectious. It is just a shame that it seems like there will always be those people crying about whatever Top Gear makes until the end of time just because Jeremy, James and Richard aren't in it. Wow this looks amazing, can't wait. Jdmlover06 said. Joseph Sahonan added, I like this trio. Frankly, I like them more than anything the old trio is currently doing. Although the new team is proving popular with many fans, some are still mourning the loss of the original hosts. Grumpy Oldman described. They can never replace the original three but They come extremely close Jahaj stated, whilst I enjoy these three, I feel like most of the things that they previewed here have been done before, either by Clarkson and co or by themselves in past series, it's very repetitive 
A release date of the new season is yet to be announced, with the previously aired season available on BBC iPlayer. Grumpy Old Man Hodge stated, Whilst I enjoy these three, I feel like most of the things that they previewed here have been done before, either by Clarkson and co or by themselves in past series, it's very repetitive. A release date of the new season is yet to be announced, with the previously aired season available on BBC iPlayer.